Okay, just hook up this uh, wire here. It's a connector there for the fuel rail. So this one is done. This uh, wiring needs to go underneath these here. These two, it's going over here. So then I hook up this one here to the uh, fuel system, uh, the oil system, sorry. Uh, this one's gonna be connected right here to the uh, This one here, it's going to be connected right here to the uh, coolant sensor. But I don't want to hook it up right now because I know there's going to be a couple of things around and that one could be hooked up at the final stage of it. This one as well might go around some hoses or something. This is uh, obviously going to go for one of these. Uh, uh, seems like it's going to be one of these two uh, vanas right there. So these for now I, I hold them. Uh, this wire here that uh, goes from the block here These two here are the oxygen sensor connectors They're gonna connect with these two oxygen sensor wiring coming from down uh, on the exhaust on the precatalysis So all of those I can wait for now I want to wait till I'm gonna put the valve uh, I call this the valve rack the vacuum valve here it's like an angle because uh, there's some clip there to hold these wiring so these wiring they're gonna go all the way on the back of the engine and gonna go along here and they clip there's some plastic clips to hook them up to the fuel rail so uh, that's uh, that's the next step uh, not the next step sorry but further further so the uh, vacuum here these little two vacuum holes are just slided in there in the groove there you just slide them in place so these are gonna go around here somewhere and connect to these uh, vacuum valve and the vacuum accumulator around here so at this moment the next step would be to um, install the uh, power steering pump that is uh, hooked up there since a little while so I'm gonna free it and I'm gonna install it in place there's some boat going up from the engine we can see one uh, down this pulley there so this is one of the boat there's some boat also that goes on the side here uh, the bracket is still with the pump so it's going to be quite easy to figure out how it goes you can see the bracket there there's a slot hole for uh, going on the side so that's uh, what I'm doing right these now. are the two boats for the power steering that goes up front they are steel boats uh, mine I left them in place so it's very easy to know which one they are it seems like, like it's uh, probably 9 millimeters or 10 millimeters. I'll tell you right away. These are 10 millimeters, and the length of it it's about uh, about one inch and a half maybe. So the headers are torx torx. So I'm gonna start with this one because the one on the side is a slotted bracket. So these are the one that's gonna locate the. Uh, the uh, power steering pump so that's what I'm doing there. so the third boat is the same size same type of boat and it goes right here so at this moment I just want to start to boat it in place So as I said, now there are the three of them are in place, but we need to torque the two first up front and pick up the loose, most of it. So it's going to be pretty well located, but it has to be torqued up front first. Okay, give it a bit of loose. That's good enough. So let's go up front. Now that uh, I torque the two front bolt and the one on the side here for the uh, power steering, these are torqued. Now it's time to uh, free the uh, AC compressor and we're gonna install this one. I'm gonna 
cut this tie wrap here. So I free the uh, AC compressor. Now it's sitting on the uh, on the uh, uh, power steering pump. Make sure not to break this bracket here and this wire. Make sure they're kind of free. So now it's time to install the alternator generator. This thing goes here and uh, the bolts are these one here so you want <coughs> you want to at least get one bolt in to help you hold this thing so the connector goes on that hand here and these here go like that So this bracket here is used to hold some uh, of the piping in place. I think it's the air pipe that goes into the throttle body. Uh, this one here, I think I'm uh, too soon. I need to put the other bracket in. Yeah, forget about that, sorry. Need to install this uh, piece of aluminum prior to install these bolts. This is gonna go here, like that, oops, sorry, like that. And these both are going through here so this thing goes like that so and this is what's gonna hold the uh, AC compressor in place so this flange here and this here will sit on the engine block it's gonna sit so the first hole here is gonna sit right there right here second hole is gonna second hole here is gonna sit right here and the third hole here with the pin it's a bit hard to see but it's gonna sit right here so I gotta slide this thing in place the boats for that the three boats that are gonna go here here and here there are boats like that so I'm gonna try to slide that thing slowly with moving the AC compressor there are two locating pins so you need to take your time to line it up properly if it's gonna be too hard I'm just gonna remove the uh, alternator it's just been uh, inserted with two bolts so it's not very tight at this moment okay, so that seems to fit right now so it's just a matter of sliding in these pins so it's in place. So let's put a bolt here underneath. It's a bit hard to see where it is, but I show you. Okay. This one here Oops I'm gonna set myself with a long extension to reach these bolts. I'm using a swivel uh, extension with a 13 millimeter. It's gonna help me to put the bolt in place. Keep it loose a bit so you can play with it if needed. Insert the third one. Okay. 
we're going to insert this bracket in place. It goes through the alternator. We can kind of shake the whole thing. So I'm going to start by torquing these three bolts that uh, hold this uh, kind of uh, aluminum shelf that is like that, right? So I'm going to start by this one here on this end. I'll show you the screwdriver instead. So this one here, right? And then I'm going to torque on the other end. So this one here. It's hard to see, but... And then the one in the middle, which is this one here. Okay, so once these three... Right now, all the bolts, I mean these three at the bottom, these two here, and these two here, I pick up most of the loose there's just a little more to play so by torquing the tree at the bottom of this aluminum kind of shelf the alternator is going to be a bit squeezed in here at the bottom but it's all it's all it's already in place so after these three i'm going to torque these two and these two and once this is done we're going to have to install the uh, compressor the ec compressor they are pins locating pins here one here and there's another one here at the bottom you can see here okay these two pins they locate in this hole here and there's another hole here at the bottom okay and the threads are uh, in this uh, aluminum uh, kind of uh, shell shelf or bracket if you want there's a third hole to be installed and the third hole is right here the hole is here you can see You can see it here so this one is going to line up with this one here and again it has to to be screwed inside the uh, the screws are going to fit that way in the shell and here too that way and the one at the bottom that way also so first off tightening up the, sh the shelf then the four bolts of the alternator and then we're going to install the ac compressor so the bolts for the ac compressor are the long ones like that there's three of them so first off, we're gonna try to slide it in place here. There's two locating pins. Hmm. Not sure how I'm gonna be able to do that, but. I'm gonna have to slide the bolt first because the bolts are too long so I'm gonna have to remove it slide it aside fit the tree bolt loose in there and then I'm gonna be able to just put them on because it's way too long it's a bit hard to fit the bolt but you have to kind of move it around try to find your way in there So once the three of them are in, then we're going to be able to put it on its pins and, and put it and start to tighten up the bolts.
you gotta start by the, by the two that are in line here the two front because of the locating pins and uh, then it's just a matter of tightening those in place so taking the 13 millimeter ratchet wrench works magic because it's a crowded place So now it's time to install the uh, wiring for the uh, AC compressor. So this one is uh, th it's this little connector and it connects right here. So it goes like this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting to go fit this in there. Okay, it clicked, so now it's in place. Then it's up to the uh, one of the uh, alternator. This one is the big uh, here, and it connects here. So it goes like this. connected and it's going to be time to uh, connect this uh, positive uh, connection to here to the uh, alternator Don't go crazy torquing that thing, you don't want to break it, the electronic behind. And then there's a plastic cap. This plastic cap goes on the nut. It's time to install the serpentine belt or accessory belt. The uh, socket for uh, here is the uh, binder. It's a special torque socket, it's wider than usual, so it's better to have that, else you can damage the uh, aluminum thing here. It's important also to know that you have to go clockwise on that thing when you want to release it. And the other thing important is never put your fingers in the way of the belt and the pulleys. So clockwise. It's a very strong spring. so. Never put your fingers in danger. So now it's time to install that thing. So one of the way to see this is when you have teeth like that, it's inside of the belt. When it's flat, very usually it's the outside of the belt. So even though you don't have the pattern, you can start with the certainties, which is first up would be the crankshaft pulley. And then it's a matter of going wrap around. So you're going down there. Grabbing the power steering. Right. And then um, 
here are these two gonna go hand in hand so power steering and the AC in one uh, wrap around then this idler buoy here and then the the um, alternator and then what you want to do is you want to make your you're gonna have to tighten it up with this thing here you can pick up most of the loose right so that should that should be about it so now it's time to pick up the loose what we can do also trying to make it easier is we can wrap around already these two and finish by the alternator here So here you can see my pulley is not in the right place, so I need to push it some more. That should be good now. Yeah, that seems to be good. So what I can do is I can turn the crankshaft a little, just to make sure everything is uh, right. And uh, that's about it.